Hi guys, welcome sa Zip9. In this video, ay itutuloy natin yung ating series on motion problems, no? O yung uh, uh, tinatawag natin na distance rate time word problems, no? So, tignan natin yung problem na to. Two cars started at the same time from the same place and travel, uh, traveled in opposite directions. May ED yata dapat ito. Okay? And if the rate of one car is 5 kilometers per hour, more than the rate of the other and they are 255 kilometers apart at the end of 3 hours what is the rate of each no so pag ganito mga problem i think yung pinaka ma uh, daling gawin ay magkaroon tayo ng parang table no so lagay natin yung distance no yung rate at saka yung time no and remember sa mga previous videos natin ang formula natin is distance is equal to rate times time di ba so Okay, so dalawang cars tayo. Meron tayong car 1 at saka car 2. Tingnan natin yung mga given, no? So, opposite directions, no? Uh, yung rate ng one car is 5 kilometers. 5 kilometers per hour. More than the rate of the other, no? So, yung isang car ay mas mabilis ng 5 kilometers per hour. So, pag ang rate ng car 1 ay x, yung car 2 mas mabilis siya magiging x plus. 5, no? Okay. Next. Ano pang alam natin? O, sabi niya, uh, the rate of each other, and they are 255 kilometers apart at the end of 3 hours. So, 3 hours yung time nilang dalawa, no? Kasi, sabi ay they started at the same time. So, pareho yung time nila. Kung tatlong oras na nagbabiyahi si car 1, tatlong oras na rin nagbabiyahi si car 2. No? Ano yung distance nilang dalawa? Uh, distance is the product of rate and time So therefore, mamultiply natin itong uh, yung, uh, time at yung rate no? So ang distance nito ay 3 3 yung times tapos yung rate natin ay x So 3x no? And dito naman sa kabila, 3 yung uh, time Tapos yung rate natin ay x plus 5 Okay? Okay, tignan natin ulit yung problems. Two cars started at the same time from the same place, no? So, kung nga rin, nandito sila and eh, they travel in opposite directions. Papunta sila dito, no? So, mas mabilis si car, car 2, no? So, si car 2 ay, uh, syempre, mas, ma, mas mabilis siya, mas mahaba yung na-travel niya. So, ang kanyang distance, no? The distance is 3x plus 5, no? Or kung gusto nyo, pwede na natin i-simplify. 3x plus 15 na yung kanyang distance. No? Distance traveled. So, yung distance is from here up to here. Yung distance naman ni car 1 ay 3x, di ba? So, from here to here. So, pag anon siya. Okay? Now, Ano yung 255 kilometers? Yan yung total distance nila kasi they are 255 kilometers apart. So, ano relationship ng distance ni car 1 saka distance ni car 2 doon sa 255? So, I think obvious, no? Yung the distance of car 1 plus the distance of car 2 no? is equal to 255, diba? So, distance of car 1 plus distance of car 2 is equal to ano yan 255 diba so 3x yung distance ni car 1 plus 3x plus 15 the distance of car 2 equals 255 so, 6x, dalawang 3x plus 15 equals 255. And 6x plus 15, minus 15, para matagal yung 15, uh, magiging 255 minus 15. 15 minus 15 is 0. No? So, 6x na lang yung nasa left-hand side natin. And yung nasa right-hand side natin ay 240. 
which means that x, no? 6x divided by 6 equals 240 divided by 6. So we divide both sides by 6 para matanggal natin yung x, yung, sorry, yung 6, no? So meaning x is, x is equal to 40. So ano yung x? Ano nga ulit yung x natin? Ano yung 40? Tignan natin yung table. Yun yung rate, no? Yung rate ng car 1. So ibig sabihin yung speed niya, yun yung rate, di ba? Rate and speed. It's the same dito sa problem na to. So this is 40 kilometers per hour, no? At ito naman ay 45 kilometers per hour. So yun na yung sagot natin. What is the rate of each? So yung car 1 is 45, 40 kph and car 2 is 45 kph. Okay, so sana maliwanag at uh, naintindihan nyo itong ating maxing tutorial, no? So... Gusto ko yung invite sa ating uh, YouTube channel, youtube.com slash user slash sip9ph. No? Mag-subscribe kayo kasi mas madami pa tayong i-upload. Pwede nyo rin puntahan yung ating website, yung sip9.com dahil dyan nakalagay yung ating uh, mga links no? sa ating mga tutorials. No? See you in the next video.